Star Trek superstar William Shatner is turning fiction into reality today as he boldly heads into space at the age of 90. Well, recently, Eamon sat down with the acting legend to discuss Captain Kirk, his incredible career, and the prospect of heading out of this world. Bill, it's an absolute pleasure and honour uh, to speak to you. Um, but here's what I don't understand. Um, yes, That's you, you, right you, up my alley. I don't understand. Right yes. up your alley. Um, you are, and I say this as a compliment, 90 years of age, and yet every time I, I, I read about you or go on the internet, you're either yeah. riding horses, making albums, recording TV programs. How do you do that, my friend? Because I, that's what I don't understand. Nobody's ever said, hey, you're 89. <laughs> but somehow this 90th thing is a magic uh, a border to cross. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I um, when you say to me, uh, you're 90, and I say, um, who, 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 who are you talking about? Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't know what 90 is. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't feel 90. I don't. Uh, you don't look 90? I don't look 90. I'm, so oh. I don't know. You know, as a kid, when I was growing up, Kirk was my hero. I mean, to this day, I would ask myself, I would say, what would Kirk do? And Kirk was a man who thought out of the box and he also surrounded himself with people who knew how to do things. He didn't know how to work warp speed or proton torpedoes or whatever, but he would no, have people who could button. do all that. Yeah, you press a button on your chair and you say, uh, give me more speed. And the guy says, I don't have it anymore. You know, I mean... <laughs> Star Trek, the original series, uh, set in the 23rd century, was that about 200 years away from now. Do you think we as a civilization will reach that? Will, be, will we be as advanced as that come the 23rd century? I think so. If we exist, or certainly life as we know it now, relies on us doing something immediately about global warming. And, uh, you know, Europe caught it uh, the last few months, and uh, there's devastation all around us as the seas rise. I mean, terrible things. We, we, we've got to know that terrible things are going to happen. We've got to do something about it. And it isn't like, oh, yeah, we'll better vote a few million pounds. And No, man. We've got to invent ourselves out of this. We've got to get carbon to, the carbon out of the air. We've got to clean the oceans. We've got, oh, yeah. We got a lot of we got a lot of work to do. A lot even. to work to do. Things that we don't understand, but you think may be achievable. Well, it's achievable, but we've got to organize the world, and the world doesn't want to be organized. What do you think of Chris Pine playing Kirk in the new series of films? Well, he's wonderful. He's wonderful. He's a wonderful actor, and he's young. Oh, he's so young. You know. <laughs> Does he remind you? his story it was really quite interesting and lovely talking to you sir thank you very much Bye. indeed live yeah. long and prosper oh dear <laughs> he wow. looks incredible unbelievable that voice unbelievable uh, and that was uh, in the summer before we knew the full details of what was about to happen mm -hmm. today because william shatner prepares to blast off into space in just a few hours which would make him the oldest man to do so